What's going on, you crazy bastards? You're back here with Rob Kimball from SonsOfWrestling.com for a TNA Impact Wrestling review. And yes, I am back. I was gone for a couple of weeks. This is a makeshift studio last minute. So guys, uh, bear with me. I'll be getting things back together. But let's start off with the show. Angle and Lashley in the ring. And Lashley wants a rematch because clearly his shoulder was up when Angle pinned him last week for his rematch for the title. So, um, and we have video evidence here. So, we should get this match. And Angle says, yes, we're going to get a match. We're going to do this. We're going to have that tonight. But EY cuts it off. EY comes on down to the ring. Oh, hell no. He beat Bobby Roode. He's the number one contender. That belt is his. He wants his goddamn title match. And he is first in line, not Lashley. So, um... This uh, turns into a little bit of a battle here. EY attacks Lashley, just grabbing his face and uh, throwing him back. Uh, Kurt Angle comes up onto him. He ducks out of the way from the spear from Lashley, and boom, Angle down. Lashley, fuck, I messed up. So, uh, <laughs> well, later on, you get um, Kurt Angle. He doesn't care. He will fight anyone, both, tonight. He will take on EY and Lashley for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Now, this is a badass Kurt Angle. Comment down here. What do you guys think? Um, moving on, we go to Gail Kim versus Awesome Kong. And uh, number one contendership for the Knockouts Championship. Taryn Terrell is going to put her belt on the line against who wins? Whew, let me tell you what. Gail Kim brought everything that she could. Even though Kong ripped the turnbuckle off, exposing that uh, steel turnbuckle, uh, and ends up eating it in the end. It doesn't have, always happen. So, um, and then hits eat defeat, but awesome Kong with a goddamn power bomb, picking up the win here. Just too much for Gail Kim. Wow. So moving on to Taryn Terrell, what happens? I don't know. Does Taryn Terrell solidify her badassness? Or uh, Awesome Kong just, uh, <laughs> I don't know. And when does Havoc come back? That's a good question. Comment down here, guys. Where's Havoc? I don't know. I don't really read too much into the dirt sheet, so not quite sure there. Then the odd backstage segment with James Storm and Mickey James. The, the old James Storm, it seemed like. The way he, he conducted himself, talking and everything. And you have Manic coming in, well, <laughs> after Mickey left. We got the new James again, and he went right back into character, shoving the goddamn cornbread in his fucking face, or whatever he had that he was eating. Uh, so, calls down the revolution, and, um, well, he tells him he needs a tag team partner to win his tag team championship back, and, uh, well, they're going to have to duke it out. And he doesn't mind one less in the revolution, so these guys better fucking start playing. Um, anyway, you get a goddamn kick-ass match between the three, and, uh, well, Koya ends up picking up the victory over Abyss, beating his ass with that stick that James Storm has been marching along with, so, pretty cool victory, pretty cool to see a new tag team, and, uh, speaking of tag teams later on, wow, we get some tag team action, yes, and one of those is... Drew, Drew Galloway, sorry, almost said Drew McIntyre. Drew Galloway in the rising, coming out. You got Micah, which is uh, Haku's son. Didn't know that. This is good information. And Eli, phew, that dude was sick in the ring. Let me tell you what, that was badass. And I love their little promo about how we are not superstars. We are professional wrestlers. Now that was badass. Stand up. We will rise. That, that the whole the whole thing is goddamn awesome. And then the BDC comes on out. They want to have this little deal. And well, Drew counts down one, two, three, boom, or three, two, one, whatever way you want to go. Either way, ended in a brawl. And uh, then it turns into a six-man tag because that's what Drew wants. That's what professional wrestling wants. Us fans. And this is badass. So turns into a pretty goddamn cool match. And like, like I said, that fucking Eli dude is sick. 
and uh, Drew, badass himself, Micah doing a really good job, kicking ass, but in the end, Homicide joins the BDC and comes in and attacks from behind, and then the beatdown continues, match is called, bell is dinging, that's that. We move on to DJZ versus Davey Richards, and both these guys are sick in the ring, awesome, you got great, smooth action going on, but in the end, clearly, you know, Davey Richards, oh, picking up the win. So, pretty cool, and I, I like to see DJZ more in a roll on his own because the guy can roll, and that's uh, hopefully, eventually, he'll break away from the bromance and start doing his own thing because he's good. Next up, you have the Hardys in the ring, and uh, they're talking about becoming tag team champs again, something they've never done in TNA, and this is pretty goddamn cool because I don't care who you are, this is one of the best tag teams ever. Doesn't matter, and um, because of the things they have done and accomplished and just the smoothness in the ring, Jeff Hardy is one of the best ever. Some say Shawn Michaels, I say Jeff Hardy, but hey, that's here or there. And anyway, you get EC3 and Tigers coming out now, and EC3 plans to have a tag team partner of his own to take over the Hardys. And uh, why wasn't it Tyrus? I don't know. But Bram is the guy. Bram comes out. He hates everyone. But EC3 is the one he hates the least. So he just wants to hurt the Hardys. And then you have Mr. Anderson and Spud. They come on down. They're going to be joining in on this humongous. It's going to be uh, uh, X where the tag belts are hanging up top. So this is going to be badass. Ultimate X for the tag team championship. And... Uh, this I can't wait for it. And then you have the reunion of the Dirty Heels. Yes. Austin Aries and Bobby Roode tagging up once again. And if you had noticed the jacket that Austin Aries had on, underneath it you could see that it was a Dirty Heel shirt. Pretty cool. Glad to bring it back. And I did just read recently that TNA trademarked Dirty Heels. So looks like they might have a run going on here for a little while so let's see where it is let's see where it goes let's support it and then we have um ey versus lashley versus kurt angle for the tna world heavyweight championship and just prior to this ey attacks kurt angle backstage going ballistic nuts bananas isn't it so strange from the ey of last year the good guy the awesome guy the guy that does the fishing show the guy that goes goes climbing redwoods right after he he wins the tna world heavyweight championship the guy lost it he's going back to nuts and uh he wants that belt so maybe maybe that maybe that was the uh, what led him into losing it he lost that belt now he's lost his mind and he's ready to just get it back. He just needs that belt back. So we go into this goddamn crazy match. Um, pretty much Angle is a machine here. Suplex machine that is. Uh, suplex city. Suplex machine. And um, then you get the Angle slam the EY. And then uh, Bobby Lashley goes in for the spear. Hits the goddamn chair that was set up in the corner. And um, well... Angle slam to Lashley and then to follow that up with a moonsault. Yes, to the injured leg of Bobby Lashley. Picking up the one, the win here with a one, two, three. Uh, good to see a nice clean victory. Not no shoulder up, not one other person out. Uh, you know, I like clean victories. I like clean championship wins. And this was a badass one. And Kurt Angle is looking badass. So, hey. Man, give it up to the guy, and then we'll see where it goes. But um, you can't go wrong. EY then comes in. He is ripping pissed, obviously. He wasn't pinned, so he didn't really lose. And uh, that championship he wants so goddamn bad, he attacks Lashley with a chair. And then, you know, that gimmick on his leg, twists it around, locks in a figure four, just doing more damage to the leg of Bobby Lashley. And uh, that is that pretty goddamn cool show. Let me tell you what, TNA rocked it out of the park. I mean, shoot, boom, home run, awesome shit. You can't go wrong. So support pro wrestling. 
Go to sonsofwrestling.com and uh, if you want some cool ass t-shirts, click on the banner. Go to my Amazon banner, that helps this channel keep upgrading because man, I need to upgrade this weak ass background. My digital one shit, it won't work here. I just recently moved, uh, that's why I've been off for a couple weeks. And so we're working on some stuff, need to get some new lighting and uh, fix some stuff up. So some things in the works, if you guys can help out, click the banners, go get yourself a t-shirt or two. You can even go to patreon.com slash Robin Kimball brand and uh, you can contribute there if you would like, but preferably just click that Amazon banner. It doesn't cost you nothing, nothing if you're already shopping, you know what I mean? Until then, you can catch me for Monday Night Raw coming up and probably something in between, maybe. We'll see what's going on. Until then.